There is a significant gender gap prevalent in engineering and mechanics industry in Uganda. It is uncommon to see a woman holding a spanner or going under a vehicle to fix it. However, there are entities that are trying to change these dynamics and mindset. Spencer Kansime is the head of service and project manager at Uverge International. We've trained uh, over 4,000 young people and then 70% are the young girls. So what we do is we have across the country, we have branches in different places, but also we have placed uh, these young people in different garages. So probably if you go to Kanungu, you'll find young ladies repairing. If you go to Kabale, you go to Gulu, you'll find different young people. Uh, especially girls doing this and it is very enjoyable so the border border industry is the most preferred means of transport both in urban and rural areas the influx of motorcycles has come with numerous benefits especially for the men the ladies can do it truly if if the men can do it why not the ladies yes the ladies are equally uh, they equally have the potential that we have as men so it is our collective responsibility to guide them inspire them and support them to be better but now women are determined to change the status quo teddy nabosa is a proud engineer we caught up with while showcasing her skills at the just concluded women's katale expo in ginger city i ventured into boda boda mechanic field with the knowledge that it was a man's job i started with fear but over time i got used and I got good training from you, Raj. I'm excited because I'm here and I can do what men do. Teddy is diligent and enjoys her work. But what do the Boda Boda riders say about the entry of women mechanics in the industry? If I find a lady and a man, I would prefer my bike to be given to a man. Yes, because those ladies, they are, sometimes they are very small. Eh? Oh. Yeah, that's why I would prefer a man rather than a woman. A woman. I don't want to say that I'm going to like, change the girl. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili moon. I'm going to have a cousin of a chili the Chief Executive Officer Private Sector Foundation Uganda says young women joining non-traditional industries is the way to go. The element we started on uh, women in technology has actually shown that there are traditional mindsets, stereotypes, traditions that we have to break that barrier. We have to break the sound barrier. Laura Nagaba, UBC News.